when developing hybrid applications, we encounter a difficulty uh, when trying to debug or track uh, code written in JavaScript running within the web view. One option for overcoming this uh, difficulty is using the logcat. Logcat is a mechanism that allows us to uh, create log messages we can later uh, go over if we take a look at the logcat view which is part of the DDMS perspective. Uh, in this code sample I have a simple activity uh, that use uh, phone gap. Here we have a class that extends droid gap and here we specify the URL address for the file we want the web view to render. If we take a look at the file itself, as you can see we are dealing with a very simple code in JavaScript we want to track. Here in this code sample I chose to define a new class. A new class, uh, its name is um, weblog and here in weblog I defined the function i and as you can see when calling i on a weblog object the two strings we pass are indirectly passed over to the i static function defined in log when calling the i static function defined in log passing over two strings uh, the second string is the message and the first is kind of a tag uh, that very specific log message will be added to the log messages we can already see in uh, the log cat. In addition, here you can see that I call the add JavaScript interface function on the web view object. App view is a variable inherited from DroidGap. It holds the web view object DroidGap was responsible for uh, creating. So when I call the add JavaScript interface on the web view object, here I actually allow the code in JavaScript to refer window.weblogger in order to get an access to the weblog object. Therefore, if you take a look at the code written in JavaScript, you can see window.weblogger.i. Here I pass over two strings. Those two strings are passed over to the i function invoked on the weblog object, which indirectly are indirectly passed over to the i function, the i static function in class log, which means that when I write window.weblogger.i and pass uh, these two strings, it is actually a new log message we will be able to see here in our, the locket view that belongs to the DDMS perspective. Let's uh, clear the locket and let's give it a try. So I execute this activity. As you can see, it is installed on the AVD and it is started. Okay, let's take a look at the emulator. This is the output we get on screen, just as expected according to the code document.write and here we can see the variable sum that old 7. But what is more interesting is that if we go to the DDMS perspective here, within all log messages, we can find these three messages, these three logs that were created, were created uh, over here. Meaning, it is possible to pass over log messages from code uh, written in JavaScript to the logcat. You just need to follow the code sample I've just created. Here we can of course create a filter based on the tag. The tag in use was our try, so let's create a filter. My filter based on the log tag our try. And here as you can see we get separated those log messages we created in JavaScript.